back to back weeks, bro. Tough. Eagles take the L, man. I don't even know what the final score was. Once we hit the fourth quarter, bro, and it was like 30 to 13, pretty much the whole third quarter, bro. Oh, fourth quarter, bro. I ain't, maybe it was in the third quarter. I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I can't even really get up for this game like I would, like a normal Cowboys being. I don't know why, man. It's just like after the way the 49ers did us, they just mounted my Eagles and shit. It just feel like I can't even get up for the Cowboys game. I know I was trying to like trick myself as Cowboys, Cowboys, we Cowboys, we, but I don't know. Maybe I, maybe subconscious, I knew this shit was coming or some shit. Just play that way 49ers handled I had last time, but. I feel like, I don't know, it didn't feel like a regular Cowboys week to me. Maybe because that dismantling we had from the 49ers. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. But he was get that ass stomped. By the Cowboys, man. Our division rival, man. Back to back blowouts. Why not do it three times like Michael Jordan? Three times, bro. Go on, let the Seahawks beat that ass too. Shit. Man, see, I know I was so mad when C got his first little touchdown and shit, bro. I ain't gonna cap, man. He up here dancing and shimmying and shit like that death. That nigga picked up the flag, too. That made me so mad, bro. Y'all know I watch this game and shit for the most part in a way. But, man, I only think the offense on the Eagles even scored an offensive touchdown today, bro. They got two field goals up. And these niggas keep running it, motherfucking QB. Draw, my nigga. Stop running that. Why? The first offensive drive when the Cowboys score, I wasn't going to get mad today. Look at that. I'm already mad. The first offensive drive we had, we could go straight to the uh, patented play in, in Philly this year. The fucking QB draw. I guess what a fumble happened. Keep running that. Why? That, that 40, 40 is year old with that, that, play, that. I have a short on my channel right now. That play is going to end up going viral. I ain't going to care. Everybody in Philly know this shit coming, bro. I just just two to three times game. That's all I want to see. Two or three times. That's it. I don't even see it no more, bro. Because as soon as that happened, it, it kind of like shipped the whole momentum of the game and shit. Bradbury is food. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to talk about the defense and shit. Bro, I really don't even want to talk about the game because in the day we got that at a stomp. We probably were the third, fourth team best in the, in the NFC, bro. I did have us at 12 and 5 this year, but I, I knew the defense was going to take a step back, but but the way they started off the year, they was okay. We dismantled Miami, you know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about, oh, the penalties and all. Okay, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talking about the penalties and shit. We getting away with a lot of penalties and shit. The refs helping us out. They, they like, pulling flags out their ass and shit. All different colors and all that bullshit. But, man, we our defense didn't look as bad as it do now, man. That went up the field two times, twice times. Those times on... on they did this nigga just going up the field, bro. See, he had a, a hell of a game, I, I think. I can't even remember, man. Uh, Jake Ferguson, he's still jumping over niggas and shit. James Bradbury, bro. It was a couple times. I don't know if he really got exposed the way he could have gotten exposed. I know one time he was getting burnt, and then uh, I think Brandon Cook was in the end zone. It wasn't a touchdown and shit. I think it was another play. He, he got burnt. For, uh, the Fortnite to do the same thing that they did. Uh, they didn't tackle the, the I mean, the Cowboys didn't tackle the same way the Fortnite did, like going out of linebacker. The, the linebacker had a shitty game. We already know this shit, but it wasn't as bad that, how James Bradbury didn't get targeted last week. The, the Cowboys made sure they targeted his ass and shit, man. And I don't know, man. We just, it's just, it's just not good right now. I can't cap, man. You got to give credit to the Cowboys. Maybe everybody can stop. With the Cowboys and not, uh, I've been giving. I think I've been probably pretty much the only Eagle fan giving the Cowboys their credit this year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, so I do troll and shit. You know, so December getting cold. I respect y'all need to fold and all this type of shit. Y'all do got Miami, Buffalo, and Detroit left, so we'll see how y'all looking and shit. But right now, man, we looking like uh, we're probably not gonna get the buy. Maybe I don't fucking know. I'm not really sure. We're probably not gonna get the buy, but. I did predict at the beginning of the year, like my prediction is coming true. That is tough. I didn't want my prediction to come true because, you know what I'm saying? I didn't predict a 10 and 1 start. But the like my prediction is coming true, bro. I said we're going to go 12 and 5, win one game in the playoffs. The Cowboys will win the division, and then we'll get bounced out in the fucking uh, division around shit. Every, everything is lined. The stars are lining for that to happen right now. So, man. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Jalen Hurts in the office. I, the thing that, oh, I forgot to bring this up. The thing that alarmed me after the 49ers lost, Brandon Graham was talking about on a podcast, talking about the, uh, talking about, man, if we could have went up, the the game could have been different. We went up 14 0. How about you niggas stop the 49ers, man? Why are you talking about with the offense? Don't talk about the offense, dude. You gave up 40 fucking two points. 
Why are you talking about what? So that's a, that's a red flag in my mind right now. I need to probably need to emotionally detach from this season. Why are you talking about what the offense is doing, nigga? He talks about the offense will instead of oh, settling for three. You know what I'm saying? It could be a different outcome. Yeah, that's true. But how about you stop the niggas that what they doing, man? How about you sack Purdy and why, why his jersey get, get, get hung up on a hanger and ain't got to get bit washed because y'all niggas ain't sacked the niggas? How about that shit? Why don't we start there? Don't talk about what the offense is doing. You go on the other side of the football. That's very alarming to me, bro. So that's basically telling me I need to detach from this season, bro. Because if y'all go back, y'all got to go back and look at that interview he gave. He's like, yeah, man, man, just some things. And then, then he started making excuses about my injuries from the linebackers. That linebackers ain't shit. I don't give a damn about Shaq Leonard. Shaq Leonard got cut for a reason. I mean, he wasn't performing to the all pro level, bro. Obviously, he should be an upgrade once he learned defense over Nick Morrow. But same thing ain't going to happen. We're going to still give up these 30 plus games. We still going to give up 42, get to 49. You know what I'm saying? But. I can say, I'm still going to talk my shit. Y'all, that shit ain't going to stop shy. You know what I'm saying? I still feel like we're going to stump y'all nigga ass. But that's right. It's not looking good in Philadelphia, bro. I can't cap. Uh, AJ Brown, like, he was more interested in fighting with Gilmore than he was playing football today. He, like, he wanted to, I'm muscle on the show that I'm the bigger man and all that type shit. And put up his number that way. Well, shit, if you look at my numbers, it... Wait, worry about that. You fumbled. He locked you up and clamped you up a couple times. And, and he's like, you were more the aggressive towards him. He like, he ain't bothering nobody. Just from the outside looking in. I don't know what's being said on the field. But from the outside looking in, you like, you want to show him that. Oh, I could I could dominate you. But you're getting dominated on the scoreboard. Y'all remember A.J. Brown last year when we played the Giants. He over there mad. We went at 30, 38 to 7. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm good. Nigga, we, we up. Why is you so mad? You know what I'm saying he's more about you know see some of these guys be deep receiving and shit, but there's a lot going on with uh Philly right now. I remember it was a play, I think it was fourth and nine or some shit. And they your niggas my nephew pointed this out. He said that when he says stuff, when he says stuff and he's 14, still learning the game of football, when he points out stuff, that's, that's that makes me very angry. This nigga said he said it was like fourth and nine. They ran they throw the pass to the Bunte Smith, they went for it on fourth down and shit. And you know what I'm saying, Devontae Smith, he, you know what I'm saying, the size of a candle, a, a box of matches and shit. And he got tackled so easy. They said they should, he said he should, they should throw that ball to AJ Brown. At least he would have broke a couple tackles. I'm like, exactly. Why would you throw it to his skinny ass? Man, I fuck with Smith. I fuck with AJ. I fuck with all them my receivers, my guys. But he is too skinny for a fourth now. He didn't break no tackles. I know he gets the fourth now and they throw him a little screen. He breeze, shook a little nigga off and shit like that. But on the fourth and now on the crossing route, he's getting tackled. You know what I'm saying? That, that was a, another tone set in this game. So when it was 13 27, they did have a chance to make a drive and shit. But you know what I'm saying? I think they got stopped or something. I can't even fucking remember, man. It was just an all around game to the Cowboys. So as far as Cowboys, uh, cow, uh, any Cowboy haters out there saying that they ain't being good team, they just be two good teams back to back. You know what I'm saying? They've been blowing out the team. They supposed to blow out. So you got to give their ass their credit, man. Fuck them niggas, though. But yeah, man, I think that's been said pretty much all I had to say, man. Uh, we got to get our shit together. We we got everything in front of us. We need to handle our business. And then whatever comes with that, it comes. But as of right now, man, defense, last and pass defense, uh, giving up 24 a game. And now with this 30 the piece they didn't drop on our head, one short of a, uh, what, what was it? I think they scored 33 in the game. I'm about to say, I thought they had 39. I'm about to say, one piece of a, one piece short of a 40, 40 piece nugget meal, whatever the fuck I was gonna say, but uh, yeah, man, they gotta get this shit together on defense. I don't know what the, what the move is, what the plan is, bro, but they gotta get this shit together, bro. But hey, man, ten and three, a lot of teams will take that to be. I got to give us, got to give us some more points, ten, give us some more points too. Ten and three, man, a lot of people will take that position. That's I'm saying four and eight, or whatever. But at the end of the day, man. Lucy, a division rival in primetime football. Getting blowed out is tough. Shout out to Cowboys fan, man. Y'all don't spam down there. Y'all meat eaters and dick beaters. They like to come down come down and write stuff in my comment section after the game. Ain't said nothing before the game. I, I can't, ain't got zero respect for none of y'all to talk after the game. Talk before after the game. Ain't said nothing before the game and shit. Got no respect for y'all niggas, man. Y'all some pussy eating ass motherfuckers. But y'all leave comments down below, man. I'm out this bitch, man. Got work for morning. Let's get it.